It's bachata time. We're gonna learn a new pattern today. I'm Matt. I'm Maggie. And we're gonna go into our shoulder turns. Now don't forget, if you wanna rewatch any of this stuff, you can check out in the item description below. We got time codes. You can hop around and rewatch anything that you would like to rewatch. Lead, follow, uh, all of that good stuff. The breakdown, all of those fun little points we have down there. All of that, it's all there down below. But don't just take my word for it. Try it yourself. Let's jump into it today. Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and demonstrate our shoulder turns. We'll start off in a close position. Uh, mark that two-hand position. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 All right, let's break down this pattern. We start off in our two hand hold. We're going to do a basic to get into our rhythm. One, two, three, four, five, six on seven. I slide the hand up to the shoulder, tap for eight. Now we add an impulse to the shoulder, so we're turning them clockwise. So we bring the shoulder through the middle and keep connected to the back. One, two, three, four. So I grab the other shoulder. So I keep my hand going back and forth the top of their back. Now again, we have five, six, seven, eight. We end in this quasi-closed position. So that means we can easily close and be done. But we went all to this trouble to do it once. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four. Close up from here. Five, six, seven, eight. Now we do a basic to finish off and give us time for the next piece. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, leaders, let's go over your footwork. I'll give you your perspective. We have a basic to get set up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hand goes up on the shoulder, eight. We're just gonna do basics back and forth. One, two, three, four, you turn to follow, turn her again. Five, six, seven, eight. Repeat again. One, two, three, four, last time. Five, six, seven, eight. Basic again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what you'll see is the footwork, when I'm in close or connected with the partner, I'm doing the side together side footwork. When I'm doing the shoulder turns, I'm doing the traveling footwork where I cross in front on the second action. One, two, I'm passing. And that allows me to be more mobile and face the partner a little bit easier while the follow is turning back and forth. There's your footwork, enjoy. All right, fellas, let's go ahead and go over our footwork. So, we'll start off with just our regular basic. So we have our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. By seven, eight, our lead will have changed from this two-hand hold, slid his hand up to our shoulder, and so we have a pretty good guess that we're going to do these. Shoulder turns. So then it's just the same turning footwork as we've done for all of the other turns that we've done so far. So we're going to go step for quarter turn, another quarter turn, half a turn, tap. Alright? Same thing going the other way. Quarter turn, quarter turn, half a turn, tap. Alright, so then that may be all you do, or your lady might go ahead and keep his hand right there on your shoulder. And so we're going to go ahead and do another set of turns. Quarter, quarter, tap, tap. Now, anytime that you're turning left, you can go on ahead and style your arm up and close to your head because. Any left turning action like this, like when we're coming back, is when our lead may go ahead and decide to close off like we do for this pattern. And so sometimes when he comes up to uh, 
get back to this close position, sometimes it's hard to get your arm back on top, if that makes sense. And so we want, so any chance to give it a little bit of styling, a little bit of interestingness, well, that's just fun, but also it's very practical because, you know, if we don't know when he's going to end the pattern, we're always ready for them to close up. They've got their hands on our shoulder blade again, and then we can just lay our arm back on top. So it's a good thing in these sorts of dances to get in the habit of whenever you're turning left, go ahead and style, and then you can just put your uh, arm right back into position for this close position. Alright, so that's our footwork. Key points. So the trick to this pattern is going to be communicating the turn on time and having it go smoothly. <laughs> uh, we want to make sure that we keep contact with our partner to initiate these kind of lead assisted turns uh, without getting too far away, without getting too close and getting hit. Uh, we kind of have to find our happy uh, connection spot where we need to be while we're leading this, as well as how the follow can feel what's being led on time. So the trick to all of this really is getting ahead of time where you want to be. You'll hear me say all the time, hands in the future, feet in the present. So like we're getting into this on that seven, eight, I'm already here, she feels that the change of connection went from two hand to up on the shoulder, so she knows something's up. I give the impulse, and then because I keep the energy going and then I stop her, she knows exactly where she's at when. And that's so key here. I just keep doing my basic footwork, which is great because I can then pay more attention to specifically what I need the follower to do. So I catch that shoulder, and you'll notice it trails across the top of the shoulder and catches again on the back of the shoulder or on the shoulder of the leg. So that's convenient to go back into a regular closed position, like an exit, or to continue again, slide, catch. So let the hand follow their back and end at each of these positions. This allows you to go back and forth until you decide you're done, you end in this position, you bring the hand up, and then we go back into our basic. So really this is about communicating what position are you trying to move in and out of. You stay away and just work off the shoulder, you're not going to miscommunicate anything. They won't assume you're closing up. So at the last turn, I catch the shoulder, my hand is in that reverse handshake. I'm doing that last one to close, I bring the follow closer in, and that's a good sign that it's over. Now don't pull them in too soon, you might get whacked on the jaw if they're not used to doing that styling. So that's something you want to pay attention to. So what you'll kind of see me do here, if we're doing our last set of turns, we get to this position here. I'm going to let her do the first part of this turn where the elbow's out of the way, but from this last action, the three, four, I close up. Now she knows that we're done. So as soon as the elbow clears, we're good to go. And it's not too late at that point but you're communicating your body position expectations ahead of time so it works smoothly and as you get acclimated to the tempo of the dance, it'll go off without a hitch more or less. So there you go, that's the key point for this pattern. It's time to demonstrate. Let's go ahead and show you this pattern, what it looks like in a real time speed so you get a good feel of how it should be danced on the floor. All right, we'll start off in a two-hand hold. We'll do a base and go in. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, that is all of us for today. Great job. Keep playing with it. Keep working on that hand connection on the back. If you have any questions, reach out to us. We're more than happy to answer any questions you may have. We're on social media. We're on Facebook. We're on email. We're on email. We even have a phone number. You can just reach out to us however you like. We're more than happy to talk with you and answer any questions. But hey, thank you for watching our videos today, and we will see you next time.